All right guys, we're gonna learn how to draw a parrot today and we are using inspiration from the book we read, Parrots Over Puerto Rico, and also looking at the art of Hunt Slonan, who really loves to draw parrots. Today, we're gonna learn how to do one, but if you really love to draw parrots, you can make more than one, especially if you have a bigger piece of paper. But let's get started. I'm going to start on a new paper. I'm using Sharpie just so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Now, I like to start with the beak because the beak is really important on the parrot. So I'm starting with a straight line and then I'm gonna make a hook shape for the top beak. The bottom part of the beak is just kind of rounded and that's the first part. Now we're going to think about drawing the face and the eyes. So let's start by making a shape for the head. Just kind of a wavy blob because they're nice and feathery. I'm going to make sort of a backwards D here and then a little tear shape for where the eye's gonna go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw an eye in the middle. Now I'm going to work on the body and I'm creating some blocks of color here, making a curved stomach and then on the back just a few rows of feathers, just keeping it simple. I'm going to make a little claw here so he can grab or she can grab onto a branch. Have that curving right off the page. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw a tail feather. And I think mine might fall right off the paper and that's fine by me. You can go all the way to the edge if you wish. It can make your art look more exciting, breaking the edge of the paper. So now, I'm just about done, but I want to think about a background. So we talked about the beautiful Puerto Rico and all the beautiful lush tropical plants you might find on the island. So I'm just going to make some big leaves here, I'm not being super detailed, just making some nice wavy jagged lines here for foliage. There's no right or wrong way to do this, we're just going to make some shapes for plants and leaves behind your parent. And there you go! I hope you have fun trying this out today and I look forward to seeing how you make your parents.